Daddy. And Daddy. And mm -hmm. and Daddy tape records the dust. Daddy tape recorded you. Do you know what this is, Davy? What is it? What is it? Don't touch it. What is it? What is it? A tape recorder phone. A tape recorder phone. <laughs> <laughs> Do you listen to this or do you speak to it? Which do you do? You have to speak to it, don't you? Yeah. For death must be somewhere in a society. If it is no longer or less intensely in religion, it must be elsewhere. Perhaps in this image which produces death while trying to preserve life. Yes, well, a very good friend of mine who, who left New Zealand some years ago, and I was still there at the time, and I, I wanted to record him reciting something, preferably one of his own stories, because at the time he was, was doing a lot of writing. Um, so I recorded him reciting a story he'd written, um, which actually turned out to be something he'd written at high school um, during a period of his life that was very difficult for him. Mm. Um, and that memory that was sort of, you know, that charged this text, plus the emotionally charged environment in which he was reciting it. I mean, this was mm -hmm. one of the last times we were to see each other for yeah. a number of years. And his first time he was going to be leaving the country um, meant that the recording was really quite raw. You know, it really, I mean, if I was to listen to that now, mm -hmm. it would have been, it would be very powerful. I mean, that, that was something that was just there, mm. quite obviously. And I sort of, I suppose, vaguely had it in mind that I'd use it in a piece. Yeah. But um, once he actually did it, it was such an emotional moment. And, you know, it was really distressing for both of us. Yeah. Um, and after it was done, that was, it was that moment that mattered. It was my experience of it, and I didn't want to touch the recording. Yeah, cool, right? So you've lost it completely. Yeah, well, maybe it's sitting in a box somewhere, and I'll stumble across it mm. in old age when I'm... <laughs> Do you think in old age you'd be glad to find it again? Or Well, I could well be. I keep all my correspondence. Ah. Yeah. And you don't see that, but you don't... No, but there's something about, you know, the medium there is not pretending to be anything accurate. For me, the noise of time is not sad. I love bells, clocks, watches. As a spectator, I was interested in photography only for sentimental reasons. I wanted to explore it, not as a question, a theme, but as a wound.
To try to capture fleeting mirror images, mirror images, is not just it's not just an impossible undertaking. To do such a thing, to do such a thing is blasphemous. I saw her on her deathbed, and the only time I'd seen her before that was when she was fully functioning. Do you know? And she was kind of, she was kind of recorded. It was a sort of fragment of of who she was. Is that her false teeth were out, and her cheeks were all sunken in, and she couldn't communicate, but she was still grand. But she wasn't. So, but she wasn't. But she wasn't. She was alive, but already dead. do a lot more to mm. taking snapshots than taking snap audio recordings. Um, when someone goes and is confronted with a beautiful picture, like a vista, like a mountain, and they go, ooh, that's mm. great, got to get a photograph of it, they're not actually f- interested in photographing what they're looking at, they're interested in remembering the experience of encountering this beautiful thing. And so they're just trying to preserve a moment of themselves, not of what they're actually taking picture of. And it's not so it's not the, the photographic object, it's just a kind of trigger. It's, it's, it's a mnemonic form. thing. It, yeah. it, it has, it, and then when they go and look at it, like the, I, I choose mountains specifically because you, well, you can't photograph a mountain and actually encounter the photograph the same way as if you encounter a mountain. It's mm. recontextualizing a mountain mm. kills it completely. Mm. Um, but people can still get that buzz from it because they will go and remember being in the experience of being in the presence of something that they had an element of awe. Mm. Fidelity. Clarity, perhaps, and kind of better than the real thing sets, but you wouldn't want fidelity if it was possible. Actually, a camera doesn't record the way we see, and a microphone doesn't hear the way we hear. Mm. So, you are confronted with something that is different, which in so many cases is hyper real. Mm. But like in terms of a portrait of a person, you can see a person in a completely different light. Mm. Like, oh my God, look at that! I never noticed that they had this eyebrow that was slightly higher than that mm. eyebrow, and you could have spent lots of time with them normally it was just not noticed it yeah right. not noticed it because usually in in live situations you're encountering all these other bits of information that tend to be more interesting so there's a certain act of repose too and mm.
Casi teto. Man is made in the image of God. God's image cannot be captured by any machine of human devising. The utmost the artist may venture is to reproduce man's God-given features without the help of any machine. In the moment of highest dedication, It's, it's decided to uh, to come outside. Because mm. I kept pulling that card. Mm. All right. It was really funny because I was shuffling the deck and I hadn't even pulled any cards yet. Yeah. And it fell on the floor. Mm. I dropped one. Is that bad? No, that's not bad. But it's trying to tell you something. It fell out of the deck and onto the floor. Do you want to you wanna leave it out? No. <laughs> I dropped the card of death. So oh, great death. Here we go. You know, and he said it is. It's decided to uh, to come outside, okay? And we're gonna look at it. It is no uh, no accident that a car drops out at all. This car doesn't mean what everybody thinks it means. This is a card of eternal renewal. It is a card of immortality. It's not the card of death. Contrary to contrary to common belief, this is the sun. Okay, the sun deals with with love. It deals with vitality, renewal and rejuvenation, and new beginnings. So if you if you look at recording, if you can relate recording 
to death mm -hmm. as a renewal or as a rejuvenation mm -hmm. or as the beginning of Daddy tape recorded you today. Um. When I was a child, my grandparents lived in Africa. That's not true. <laughs> no, they lived in uh, Ipswich. <laughs> we had a relative in, in Taiwan. Right. And I think there was a kind of tape pool where we'd make a tape for a relative in Taiwan and then it would be sent on to my grandparents in Ipswich because we'd oh, send right. them tapes more often than we could visit them. So you'd get to hear what the other relatives had been doing? Or? I'm not sure whether it, was a, it would accumulate on the way. I don't think so. I think it was just tapes my dad right. would make of us as kids. And uh, it would go from one to the next. Hmm. tell the tape recorder how old you are, didn't we? Because in years to come, we won't know how old you were when you sang those things. Do you know how old you are, Jen? Yes, how four. Four? Four and a half. Yes, and how old is Davy? Davy, how old are you? Two. Two, yes. Four. You're nearly three, aren't you? Yes. Mm. When are you going to be three? Um, up, up, up. Uh, when I go to school, I'm going to be three. Oh, you've got a hope coming, haven't you? You're okay. going to be three in June. That's next month. Is that when he goes to play June, school? June 1975. Is, is it going... When he's three, um, is, he going to, is, it, is it going to be very nearly time for him to go to play school? Or will he already be at play school? I don't know. Do you know? It, it is the wheel that goes round. Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Hmm. In the microphone. Don't touch it, Jan, because it'll click if you do it. Touch it. And then it will come off, won't it? Now? Right. Might yes, break. and it's metal. Mm. Yes. And you hold it or well, it? well, I'm holding it so that you can talk into it, but if it got banged about, it would click. Shall we switch it off now? Why can't we hear our names? Well, you, you, tell, the, you tell the tape recorder your name. Turn the radio on. Hmm. Four and a half. No, your name, not your age. <coughs> <laughs> when inventors of a new instrument apply it to the observation of nature, what they expect of it always turns out to be a trifle compared with the succession of subsequent discoveries of which the instrument was the origin. Daddy's not recording. His microphones are not. Can you hear yourself Please. now? Speak. Daddy's not recording. His uh, microphones are not. We are. <laughs> 
nearby and I turned it on. Oh, good. So you had all the necessary things Mommy, nearby. You get That's you lucky. Mommy, what and I was very safe at that time in my dream because you know what? You cats? know what? what? And in my dream, mm -hmm. there was a humongous pool. Did you have dreams last night, Lizzie? One night, yeah. You had a nightmare. What was it about? That's the good one. A good nightmare? Yeah. Oh, well, then that's good. I guess your dream catcher was working. But the dream catcher didn't catch it because it was very good. There was blue Mommy. gold, my good black yellow. Oh, nice. Well, you what know were what? they doing? Just a minute. Let Lizzie finish the answer. They were fighting the bad guy. <gasps> Who was the bad guy? Can you hear yourself now? No. I forgot. Yeah, well, age, at age 15, I, I had been living with my parents in Thailand. Um, and decided that I wanted to return to New Zealand because, you know, it's where, I suppose, where I felt I had a social life or just where I wanted to be. Um, and ended up having a very unhappy year staying um, with a friend and his family. And about halfway through this year, sort of middle of, of a very nasty New Zealand winter, um, I sent a tape home um, and right, I, I wasn't, I don't think I was intending to convey how miserable I was, but as the recording progressed, I just, in verbalizing, all this came out. So that by halfway through the tape, I was in tears, sort of um, choking, I guess. Yeah. And despite that, I mean, I still sent it off to my parents. So maybe I really was very, very desperate to, to communicate right. my situation to them. You must have known how painful it would be for them to receive it. Yeah, I, but I guess my relationship with my parents has been a relatively emotionally close one, so I didn't, wasn't hesitant in doing that. Yeah. Um, and as a consequence of sending this tape, my father came back to New Zealand. Yeah. And I don't, don't know if he had reason to do that otherwise, but, but it seemed to have been spurred by me sending the tape. Right. Um, and that is, it's one recording I would love to hear. You would? Yeah, for a multitude of reasons. Um, I'm sure you'd find it upsetting to hear it. It, but... it would be upsetting to hear it. But in a way, it's, it's sort of one of those things, you know, the whole thing about um, 
any traumatic experience that you you end up reliving it, returning to it again and again, the way you return to you know the memory of, of a lover who jilted you or whatever. Yeah. And it's sort of re for me, returning to that tape would be a means of figuring out who I was at that time and. <laughs> Once upon a time, runs an old Wendy's legend, there was a peasant girl of Dessa. There was a peasant girl of Dessa who lay down on the grass at midnight. She slept. Her betrothed sat by her. He was thinking how he could get rid of his bride. Bride. Then the noon woman came and questioned him. Each time he Each answered. Time he answered. She put fresh questions to him. As the clock struck one, his heart stopped beating. The noon woman had questioned him to death. Since you can record something that shows that he was alive and after that he's dead. Control of time is what it's all about. Same as like when you record, when it's recording, it's easy to start it when you stop it. Recording, it's like, yeah, it, it is, it is capturing death. It's like the, I guess it's, it's the craft of artful embalming, isn't it? I think you're very sentimental about recording. Do you think I am? Sorry? Do you think I am? <laughs> Music is not the privilege of human beings. The question is more, what is not musical in human beings and what already is musical in nature? Gesegnet, Gesegnet seist du, werdevolle Materie, unbändiges 
smeared. Unbezähmbare Leidenschaft. Ich grüße dich, göttliche Wohnstadt, geladen mit schöpferischer Kraft, vom Geist bewegtes Meer, gekneteter Ton, dem das fleischgewordene Wort Leben einhaucht. Schöpfliche Fassungskraft an Sein und Umwandlung, darin die erkorene Substanz keimt und heranwächst. sagten sie, aus brutalen Kräften und niederen Begierden. Ja. 
in jener Gestalt, in der du mir heute erscheinst, in deiner Ganzheit, in Fortmaterie in jene Höhe, wo mir vergönnt wird, das All zu umarmen. The darkness. A blueberry sky with white stars. Vision convoluted. Trees tall, bare till the very tips. So very, very late. Strong arm in sleepy arm. Deer howl shake the dear friend at your side. Chilling fear. Sleepwalking through the forest. Marshmallow rain. Tree shadows creep, hang, fervor hauntingly daunting this sky of clouds. We sat on a wooden contraption, the river beneath us breathing green, no sparkles seen. The shadows provided the linking magic, playing off the fluttering current. Was that a bat? Flap. Kisses before sleep comes and kisses me. Suddenly dreams are throwing mellow grooves. Getting sucked into the dance is very easy. Fragmenting the light where any sort of semblance of reason, reality lives. The pieces thrown make sense in that place. In the wake, they are reduced to small clues that follow reality along. Clues don't say a word, but they know of the weaving place where self dissolves and shapes and colors become a game.
there space is a realm of mystery where golden shafts leak through. Their door is opened, and the opener is confronted with thousands of humming jackals themselves out. And all that is left is that trickster. Ten. Where spuds lay, the, the, the red fire flames that fling out, that out of skin, pools of grey, splashes, splashes of lime of green, lime green. Orbs of purple sky, sky. Animals, animals whispering, whispering, whispering. whispering. <coughs> in the land, clouds break open, tender eggshells birthing baby space.